So this meeting is closed. Please. Okay. And once again, I must, I must emphasize to all of those listening that these, these questions do not necessarily reflect my views. And I am reading these questions verbatim as they have been given to me from the patron. First question is, why have you stopped all communication and closed comments on Facebook, and why have the Indigo campaigns been stopped? Um, in my understanding, we have not stopped commenting on the Facebook. Um, and the, why have we stopped the Indiegogo campaign? We have had many, and, and, and most of those have been closed already uh, since the 80s, and the, uh, the, 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 the last one which has um, taken place since quite a long time uh, has been stopped lately uh, by Indiegogo, and, uh, um, and it's, to be honest, I don't know the reasons, but, but it's fine because we have other plans. How are you involved in the Kickstarter campaign, Iron Sky the Role Playing Game, by Dirk Van, Van der, I can't pronounce his name, I'm saying Van der Reken, I believe. So how are you involved in the Kickstarter campaign? for the role-playing game? Uh, we have made the licensing agreement about this role-playing game. It is, it is, uh... A follow-up question on that. Was any money paid by Mr. van der Aken? And if so, for what purpose was it used? For instance, was it for the movie production? You mean, was any money paid from him to Iron Sky Universe? I'll just clarify the question again. Was any money paid by Mr. Van der Reken? So yes, that would be by him. And, and if so, but what I don't understand the question, sorry. To paid by him to who? I, I presume this means to the movie production, to you, to Iris Sky Universe. Uh, yes. So he paid money to Iris Sky Universe. Yes. And did this money go to the movie production itself? Uh, this money has gone to Iron Sky Universe for the company, and the company is using it for for its for its uh, you know costs. What is the current release date of Iron Sky: The Coming Race? Uh, will be announced soon. What are the current distributors of Iron Sky, The Coming Race, and what is the current distribution plan? Will be announced soon. What other future productions are in place concerning TV shows, games, novel, and similar? Um, it's it's a, a very good question. You know, we, we are, uh, our mission is to build up a franchise and, and we are working all, on all those arenas and whenever there is something to announce and tell, we will do that. In your opinion, who was the copyright of certain elements of Iron Sky awarded to based on the decision made by the market court, that's the market court in Finland, and what part of the verdict do you base that opinion on? Um, I'm sorry, I, I have to propose that it is impossible to answer that question as it is promote, uh, pro, uh, as it is verbatim, as it says certain items, and but does not uh, list what certain items they mean. So if I try to pass his question a little bit, uh, the, the crafts, the ships, God of Damaru, Valkyrie, George W. Bush, Spitfire, Japanese ship, those assets within the first film, which can be identified as narrative elements, shall we say, who in your opinion does the copyright of those things belong to? 
reward. Or what, who was it awarded to by the court? Uh, I lost my universe. And can I bring your attention to paragraph 108 <laughs> of the uh, decision which you've provided to everybody? The English translation is, the production companies have not claimed or provided any evidence to establish to whom any copyright on the vessel would have been created and whether the copyright in question had been transferred solely to the production companies or provided any other grounds for infringement. Do you have any comments about that? Mm, I don't know. Maybe you have. No. I think this would be a question for our lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll move on. What is the total amount of investment from the first Iron Sky movie that has not yet been repaid? Mm. Which investment you are talking about? That investment is not related to Iron Sky Universe because it was not made towards Iron Sky Universe, so we cannot comment on it, I think. So is, is, is the question clarified? What is the total amount of investment from the first Iron Sky movie that has not yet been repaid? Like, do you know how much hasn't been repaid to the investors of the first film? I have an idea, yes, but, but it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's it's not an issue of Iron Sky Universe. What is it's an the issue of Blindspot Pictures. Okay. What is the total amount of investment of Iron Sky, the coming race, and who has invested how much? Well, um, I think I think uh, there's quite a lot of information which couldn't be answered. There's some some uh, how do you call those business secrets and, and okay. these kind of things. You know? Based on market predictions by Myriad and European Film Bond, Iron Sky: The Coming Race won't be able to fully repay all investors, especially subordinated loans. What are your comments on that estimate? What can I say? I mean, why not? Okay. Have you already repaid investments of a total of 265,800 euros done through the Investor platform? So I believe that's the, the first equity, or however many equity crowdfunding campaigns that you've made through Investor, the Nordic crowdfunding. The bond. So that how much? That was the bond. He's talking okay. about. He yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about, but he's talking about the bond. Yeah. So has that been? So have you already repaid investments on that bond? No, we have paid interest so far. Why was there a crypto coin mining script used on the Iron Sky Universe website, and who installed it? Uh, yeah. Uh, there was a um, apparent security hole uh, in the software used for the website, which the software was uh, installed and updated by our uh, the company that has created the website. And as soon as we were informed of the script, we contacted the company and uh, they removed the script and uh, patched the security hole. Um, I have no concrete knowledge of who installed it, but it was most likely a part of this uh, automated um, automated crypto uh, mining hacks where a, uh, um, a group of people uh, create automatic scripts that search for outdated versions of software with no security holes and then install the script to the website in order to make money for them themselves. So that is the most likely reason. Okay, uh, Tero Kalpama has stated in an email on the 27th of February that the first Iron Sky film is still being shown, streamed, and DVDs have been and are still being sold, but that indeed Blindspot, this is quoted, indeed Blindspot Pictures 
has not been reported any revenues. Some distributors do not report at all. Uh, my patron asks, how is this acceptable to Mr Kalkamar and all the shareholders, and how do you plan to rectify this situation? Okay. Can I, before we answer, can I just comment on the last one? Because yes, it's please. a very serious question. I good that it came up. The board takes, obviously, a very dim view of vendors who do not make sure that the platforms they provide us provide the utmost security, and this was obviously made even more topical uh, in conjunction with GDPR uh, in May of this year. And, uh, and, and I'm quite confident now that following this uh, oversight, on their part, such events will not occur anymore. Also, I would like to add, if anybody is worried that the website that was um, hacked does not contain any personal information of, of the people, and this is a uh, different website than the crowdsourcing site or our newsletter or something, it is a completely different system, so it does not contain any uh, uh, any important information that could have leaked out. Okay, can I, have you forgotten, I presume you've forgotten the question, so Tero Kalkumar has stated in an email on the 27th of February that the first Iron Sky film is still being shown, streamed, and DVDs have been and are still being sold, but that, to quote, indeed, Blind Spot Pictures has not been reported any revenues some distributors do not report at all. How is this acceptable to Mr. Kalkumar and all the shareholders? And how do you plan to rectify this situation? Very good question, thank you. But once again, this is not about Iron Sky Universe, but the rock. This, this is not about Iron Sky Universe, but, but I want to answer this question because obviously it's an interest uh, for many, probably many people here. and. Uh, um, uh, it's not true that we haven't reported any, any revenues, uh, but it's true that we haven't reported so much revenues we would like to have reported. And uh, um, there, there, by the way, there uh, seems to be some revenues coming in uh, from certain territories this year, but I can I, I see the pre-report from the collection agent which is good news because there has been quite quiet. In general, in general, the strategy has been which concerns Iron Sky Universe and Blind Spot Pictures uh, to, to, uh, to focus at the same time to make Iron Sky the coming race as good film as possible and as profitable film as possible and, and at the same time so to say, to clean the table, uh, for example, concerning some distributors who are not reporting on, on the first Iron Sky film. And, and then, uh, and, and once we get the second and, and more films coming out, we hope that we can, we can uh, also, uh, also, make a little bit money also with the first film. And, and uh, uh, I think anyway it will take time and, and we, are, we are trying to get rid of all the distributors who don't report. And unfortunately there are quite many of those and, and, and sort of the, the, um, uh, so we put efforts to build up relations with Iron Sky Films and with any other Iron Sky content, with partners who are able to, to, to work and, and to sell our products and brand and also to report and pay. And, and we try to minimize those, those misfires which, which has been happening. And uh, that's that's sort of the general aim, what we are trying to do here. Did yeah, I yeah. answer your question? I, th I think you've asked, answered the second question as well. I'll, I'd like to read the, segment, the, the next question just to make it sure that it's recorded, uh, but I think you've answered it. In the same email, Mr. Kalkumar states that his plan is to clean the table, which he 
just said, with original Iron Sky as soon as, this, as soon as it's possible, meaning going through distributor by distributor, country by country, ask reports, checking them, cancelling deals, etc. Has any of this happened so far? So I suppose have you have you cancel, have you been cancelling deals with with distributors? Yes, we have been cancelling some of the deals. Yes, but but I'm sure there will be more cancellations in the future. Okay. Uh, and what measures are in place to prevent similar problems with Iron Sky the coming race? For instance, are you aware? of Stealth Media Group being liquidated and Michael Cowan being banned from being a company director. Can you ensure that Michael Cowan and other former members of Stealth Media Group are no longer part of Iron Sky in any way, shape or form, in particular Jason Pyatt and Glenn Kendrick Ackerman? Um. There was quite a lot of names and companies, but, but uh, with Stealth Media Group, we have no agreement in place. Um, I cannot say what, what individuals might say somewhere, but there's nothing going on with Stealth Media Group. And, and uh, what can I say? Are you aware that sure. Stealth Media Group had been liquidated? Yes, and, and I don't care what they have because we have no connections anymore. Okay, do you have any connections to former members of Stealth Media Group? Well, I have seen them drinking beer in the markets, for example, and I might have exchanged a few words with them, and that's about it. Are your current sales agents connected to any former member of Stealth Media Group in any way, shape or form? No. What is the role of the company disrupting influence with Iron Sky Productions? Are they still involved in any way, shape or form? Um, this question uh, includes some information, some, some themes which, which uh, it's too early to go into details, but but uh, the the short answer is that that disrupting influence is is not not involved with Iron Sky the coming race. Can you provide a diagram and list of recoupment of all parties involved in Iron Sky and what the current allocation agreement C A M A looks like? So this is something you have to send in yourself, if you could. So to provide a diagram and a list of recoupment of all parties involved with Iron Sky and what the current collection agreement looks like. Um, he has been receiving the same reports like everybody else. And, and uh, so I, I don't really understand your question. The law in Finland stops the sub-licensing of copyright. Section 28, Finnish copyright. How has Blind Spot Pictures passed any rights to Iron Sky Universe? For instance, why are you effectively paying yourself for rights that you claim to own already? Do these payments come out of investors' contributions? I, I don't really understand the question, but I would like to say that that in general, um, uh, the, the acts what we have been doing is, is aiming uh, at the same time to build Aroskai franchise and at the same time to maximize the revenues for, for all, any and all investors already from Aroskai 1. I think he's referring to your financial statement where you are, there's a couple of paragraphs where you're paying. Uh, blind spot pictures for the IPR and you're paying energy productions and it's not clear why you're paying them. Um, it's, it's, I don't sky, uh, uh, sorry, blind spot pictures, I mean, en en energy productions was uh, the first, first player with, with I don't sky. They, they initiated the, the brand and they, 
they granted the rights to Blind Spot Pictures, and, and Blind Spot Pictures did uh, sort of like uh, what comes to Iron Sky. The, uh, the Blind Spot Pictures did the first first um, round of efforts and, and sweat and tears uh, to get this brand moving. The, the first let's call it like a chapter one of Iron Sky <coughs> franchise, and, and then it was decided to to uh, uh, to establish company Iron Sky Universe, which is so to say taking over, um, and obviously uh, Blind Spot Pictures, who who uh, who has been on the verge of bankruptcy for years is, is uh, um, in my opinion, entitled to some, some, um, some rewards if there is any possibilities for, for those to get rewarded for the hard work they did. Okay, and you're, you're the director of Blind Spot Pictures and the director of Ice Sky Universe? Uh, I'm the director of Blind Spot Pictures and I'm the chairman of the board of Okay. And are you using investors' money to make these contributions to both Blind Spot Pictures and Energy Productions? Energy Productions is, I believe, just a one-man show, which would be Sam Ali Torsen. Uh, I don't understand your question. Are you using investors' money to pay off Blind Spot Pictures and Sam Ali Torsen of Energy Productions? No. 